Okay, everybody, so here are my new toys that I just got. Some barium thiocyanate. Isn't that nice? And some cesium sulfate. Yay! Very handy to turn into other cesium compounds. It's wrapped in parafilm because, I mean, the bottle is jam-packed full and this plastic is some of the flimsiest plastic I have ever encountered in my life. Uh, I'm not sure what it's made out of. Maybe prisoners of conscience? I don't know, but it is pretty damn flimsy. Um, anywho, so here is the experiment. Um, what we have here is the cesium sulfate. I know. I mean, there really isn't much to see. I'd say it's more impressive than just looking at a bottle, but um, yeah, it's just a white powder. Barium thiocyanate, also a white powder. Uranyl sulfate, which you've all seen before. It's kind of a nice yellowish, greenish kind of color. And more barium thiocyanate. What I'm going to do now is dissolve all of these in a minimal amount of hot water. Then I'm going to combine them all together. Then I'm going to bust out the, well it's already busted out, the handy dandy old centrifuge. I'm going to remove the barium sulfate. And then that should give us our solution of our compound. Alright, so... I've combined the uranyl sulfate and the cesium sulfate. Here's all of the barium thiocyanate combined, and here we go. Ooh, pretty. It is supposed to be a red solution. All right, people. That's a color we haven't quite got out of uranium before. All right, nice, nice. These salts are supposed to range um, from, like I said, you know, yellow-orange to a dark red. I was really hoping the cesium would give us the more red color. Maybe I was off on that one, but whatever. Atomistry does say that, um, as far as they could tell way back whenever the fuck Atomistry, whatever that source was written, oh, wow, look at that, y'all, um, that... These things in solution, these types of complexes, these urinal thiocyanate complexes, behave as if they are completely dissociated. So given that urinal cesium and thiocyanate can be evaporated over hot water, I mean, I'm going to try evaporating this down over... Um, like I normally do, you know, just in the evaporating dish over some hot, maybe maybe not quite boiling water, but hot water, at least most of the way, and then I will allow the rest of it to evaporate away gently, um, probably under vacuum in the desiccator um, over molecular sieves overnight so that I can make sure that it is treated very nice and gently. I don't think we want to heat it up to, to force crystallization. I don't know how well that's going to go. So, um, it's very hard to find any information about these complexes because of fucking course it is. But there is a paper in the description for any of you that are interested. It is a basically a small novel and everything you possibly wanted to know about thiocyanate complexes with uranyl or uranium. I, I don't know if it's more than just the uranyl ion or not. Okay, everybody, so here is the first half of the solution. Um, this was from the portion that was more heavily laden with barium sulfate. As you can see, I was able to centrifuge it off pretty efficiently. Um, I have two other tubes that don't have anything close to that amount of barium sulfate in them centrifuging right now. Um, I may go ahead and let this evaporate down as is for now, just to make sure that my assertion about heat not being detrimental is in fact true. Always, always helpful to check if your guesses are true before you use up your expensive stuff. So, anyway, I will come back when I have something to report. Okay, as you can see, heat really does a number on the color. 
here is the original solution here are the other two vials that I saved and here is what we've got here so it doesn't look like you can use heat to cause this to crystallize now um, I don't know according to atomistry this complex can be extracted out in ether because it's soluble in ether but I'm not sure if they mean that's for true for the complexes or just for uranyl thiocyanate. So I think the best thing here is to go ahead and let this finish doing what it's doing so we can at least find out what happens when you let that go all the way. And with this, since it's only a small volume anyway, um, maybe pour this into a small beaker and just let it sit out until it evaporates. As hot as it is around here, it probably won't take that long. Um, I could dry it over some phosphorus pentoxide, generously supplied by Backyard Science 2000. That's also an option. <laughs> okay, let's hope it doesn't decide to suddenly explode out of there all over the place. Clearly, heating it up was not working. Okay, everybody, there we go. Crystals of cesium uranyl thiocyanate. And we're going to stick with the common name because I'm still not sure about the proper name. They sparkle. Look at them. They're absolutely fucking beautiful. Focus, you piece of shit focus on the glory of my creation ah, this is so fucking awesome man it is so intensely gratifying to take a sentence off atomistry and turn it into something fucking cool you can see this was a real bitch to dry properly um it took over 24 hours drying under vacuum over phosphorus pentoxide um generously gifted by backyard science 2000 um, which, by the way, they shut down his fucking Etsy store, y'all, but I've got his email address in the description. Um, I mean, if you're still looking for hard-to-find chemicals, send him an email. He, he will get back in touch with you. So, anyway, um, but yeah, I mean, without, without his incredible kindness, there's no way I could have done this synthesis, so, um... You know, respect. <laughs> Look at these, you guys. They are so fucking beautiful. Oh, my God. This turned out so good. I'm having a full-blown chemgasm over these things. And they sparkle. Look at the sparkle. Look at it. That's fucking great. God, that's so fucking great. <laughs> Holy shit, it worked, y'all. It fucking worked. Y'all just don't know how much work I put into these little fucking crystals. <laughs> <laughs> oh man well people if you like that video give it a thumbs up if you didn't like it it must suck to be that dead inside um, comment love to hear what y'all have to say about this share the video far and wide subscribe if you think I am worthy of such and until the next one y'all I'll see you later look at it look at look at it god damn it it's great ah, I love it love it love it Look at the sparkle! It sparkles! Oh my god, that is so fucking cool!